ads like this looks insanely premium like only big studios can make them i kept seeing these super clean iphone shots and thinking there's no way i can make that but once i broke it down i realized it's just minimal design smooth easing and a couple of simple tricks in a light motion so today i'm going to show you how to recreate this exact premium tech shot step by step using beginner friendly techniques Are you in? Let's dive in. First, bring the original clip into the timeline. We're going to use it as a reference. Next up, the background. It's basically just multicolored circles. Create a shape layer, add a circle, and change the fill to this color. Scale it up to cover the whole screen. Duplicate the circle, change the color, and scale it down slightly. As you can see, I'm matching the positions of the circles using the original clip as a guide. Duplicate again, change color again, repeat until you get something like this. Go to the start of the timeline and select the bottom circle. Add two scale keyframes, one at 0.1 seconds and one at one second. At the first keyframe, scale it all the way down. Now, open the graph editor, choose the elastic preset and adjust it like this. Repeat the same animation for the second circle. Copy and paste the curve so they match. Do the same for all the circles and when you're done it should look like this hmm something's not right easy fix just offset each layer backward a bit to create a staircase effect now it looks right for this tutorial i'm using an iphone 17 instead of a 13 but you can use any model you want I've dropped a few of them in the pinned comments. Place the iPhone in the center and scale it down. Add two scale keyframes and set the first one to the minimum. Do the same for rotation, two keyframes, and rotate slightly anti-clockwise at the first one. And if it doesn't feel smooth, don't worry, just adjust the keyframes closer together. Now go to the middle of the scale keyframes and make the curve like this. Repeat that curve for the rotation too. Move forward a bit and add position and rotation keyframes. At the second keyframe, increase the Z value so it moves forward out of the shot. At the second keyframe, rotate it clockwise. Shape the graph for both position and rotation.
And now for the Apple Watch. Go to the point where the iPhone leaves the frame and bring in the watch. Scale it slightly and center it. Add two scale keyframes and at the first keyframe, reduce it to its minimum. and paste this particular graph. Do the same with our rotation. Move forward, add two keyframes for both rotation and position, and increase the Z value to send it forward. And same for rotation. Repeat this entire process again for the AirPods. Your result is this. Now for the text and CTAs at the end. Add this ready-made text PNG and scale it to fit like this. You can type this if you want. Fonts like SF Pro or any sans font should be great. Go to the beginning of the layer and add two keyframes for scale. And add the first keyframe. Scale it down to zero. Copy the elastic curve from the circle and paste it to the text layer. Bring in the second text. Select the text and add the wipe effect. First reduce the end to around 25. And add two keyframes for it. At the second keyframe, Increase it back to reveal the text. Go to Feather and increase it a little.
now. Add the logo and scale it to fit. Go to the beginning of the layer and add two keyframes for scale. At the second keyframe, reduce it to zero and paste the elastic graph. Here's the final result. And that's how you recreate this Apple style gadget ad in a light motion. If you want the assets or project files, check the pinned comment. Thanks for watching. And if this helped, feel free to stick around for more.